everything that's buzzworthy. And our next guest is a former baseball player who grew up playing music as a hobby and realized he really had a knack for it when his first song, Travel On, raked up nearly half a million views on YouTube. That was in 2010, so then, follow me, follow me. He's released one viral hit after another, another famous and his latest biggest fan. Please welcome a guy that everybody is talking about, Adam Doliak. Come on out, Adam! You're a hugger. I don't I'm know if you're a hugger. hugger. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Have a seat. Thank you, guys. I love it. You said, oh, good, you're a hugger. No, I, I'm from a small little town in Texas. I, I grew up hugging. We well, didn't I grew do anything up in other. Mississippi, you... so we're all huggers down okay, there. Okay, so we, we, we um, I was telling our Tam fam in the commercial break, your story, we all have a, an idea. You know, when somebody asks you, what do you want to be when you grow up? You have an answer, and then maybe around high school that might change. For so long in your life, the answer was baseball player. You were first baseman. College at Southern Mississippi. It was the Golden Eagles. Golden Shout Eagles. out Golden Eagles. Southern Miss to the top. Uh, we got any. Yeah, yeah. You played in the College World Series in 2009. Yes. But since you were a baby, you dabbled in music. I'm, I was like two years old. You loved music. Yeah, my dad played drums, so I had a drum set when I was two years old. Um, oh my God! <laughs> Wait, there's, first there's of all, the proof. we're all saying there's all, but you know his parents that night were like, "Why did we give him that <laughs> drum set?" <laughs> Him the drum that's set. right. That's right. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've always been a music lover, but yeah. but never thought I was going to end up doing it as a career. Um, so I, I'll add a, a wrinkle to your story. I actually had a full ride to play golf and out of high school, played baseball my senior year of high school. That was it, and got a scholarship to play baseball kind of randomly. And I'm I'm a big gut feeling type yeah. of person, so I said, you know what, I could play golf the rest of my life. Uh, I'm going to go play college baseball and see what happens. And then three years later, I was walking into the College World Series and. Um, it was it was life. kind of a crazy turnaround, and then uh, my teammates and roommates in college played guitars, mm -hmm. probably just to try to get girls as baseball players <laughs> that's do. That's what you do. That's yeah, that's that's what happens. You got nothing else. Off. I got a guitar. Um, Here's a song about you. Yeah, yeah, and being a drummer, I would pick their guitars up, and the rhythmic aspects of yeah. it came pretty easy to me. And they were the first ones to say, "Hey, you actually have a really cool, unique voice. You should oh. sing in front of people." And I said, "Absolutely not. That sounds terrifying. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to do that." Um, and so they actually went and booked me three little bitty bar shows in my hometown. Wow. And they said, now you have to show up. Now you got to show now up. Now you can't be scared. You, you have know, to show up. You know, we all need that little push sometimes, of course. though, right? Because yeah. you feel it, but then you have the people who really love you. I always say those are the folks who lift your wings. Right. And they get you out there and put you in the game. You talked about having going with your gut a lot in your life. Your gut told you to be an independent artist in the start of this. Mm -hmm. And you actually did something that a lot of people don't. You turned down offers yeah. because you had to. That's a big decision because I'm sure you know all of it's coming in and it sounds very good right there was something that told you to hold on and wait yeah you do because you move to Nashville and the only thing you really want when you move to Nashville is a record deal right yeah. you just what do I do to get a record deal and I, I did start getting some offers rolling in it just was never the right deal yeah. and so that was really hard to say no you want to just jump at the first what person made you that be, says, because hey. I know you ended up landing with Sony what what gave you the courage to say no? Because sometimes it is easy to fall in line. Well, the first, I would say, two, three, or four record deals I got offered was me seeking it out, right? Mm -hmm. So I would have a song. I would go into their office. I'd play songs acoustic for them, and I'd basically be saying, you know, please sign me. I, I want a record deal. And then Famous came out, and I had some success. And Famous went was my first gold record. And so it went gold almost independently. And that's the song that kind of made the labels come to me. Oh. And so they asked me to come in instead of me asking them to go in. Doesn't and, that and, feel so good? Oh, yeah, my God, I got yeah. goosebumps. So. <laughs> I got goosebumps. I yeah. did, I did. Yeah. Now, one of your most anticipated songs this year, Biggest Fan, you're going to perform it for us. What's the story behind this song? I know, well, I know what it is, but go ahead and melt their hearts even oh, more because they're yeah. all in love with you. It's about... It's about my wife. Uh, it's it's a love letter to my <laughs> wife. Um, as we were just talking about, there she is. She's actually backstage. Some, she's back there somewhere. Um, we, the music industry, as we were just talking, is very hard. It's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of no's. It's a lot of people yeah. telling you no all the time. And you need somebody by your side to be yeah. your biggest fan, 100%. OK, and, now I'm and, crying. <laughs> oh, my god. She, she is, she's been that for me, and she, she always tells me, you know, when it feels like you don't have any, she's like, I'm your biggest, I'm your fan. biggest fan. I'm your biggest fan. When and you first sang that and she heard it, what, what did she say? She loved it. It's always been one of her favorite songs. Oh. Always been one of her favorites. And she, 
this this song is me kind of flipping that script on her. So she always tells it to me, and yeah. she doesn't sing much unless she's in the shower. But <laughs> she she does sing in the shower, and I love that. But uh, it's it's me it's me telling her, listen, if you were if you were trying to pursue a singing career, you wanted to be a professional yeah. this or that, just know that I'm your biggest, I'm your fan, biggest too. fan I got you whatever you want to do. It's the reciprocity of it. All. I right, love that. Right. So you finish your tour what in May? Last May. Yes. Last yes. May, mm -hmm. and you got a big announcement. Your next tour yes. is in the works. Yes. So Next tour is announcing uh, next week, actually, but I wanted to come tell you first. Yes! So. <laughs> the Tam Bam um, gets the scoop! Yeah. Okay. Now. Um, we're, we're putting together the Wrong Side of a Sunrise Tour 2024. The Wrong Side of the Sunrise Tour. Yes, 2024, uh, announcing the dates next week, and it's going to be our now second headlining tour that I've ever done. The first one was earlier this year, and it went really well. And so we hope to see, keep oh, seeing these tickets Oh, it's going to go well. Flying. We get yeah, the tickets yeah. flying. We're going to be 